Every year, the Maryland General Assembly considers more than 2,000 bills, and numerous bills have direct consequences on child care, early education, family support, and other issues related to children and families. Maryland Family Network provides a voice to families in this legislative process. MFN works with parents, child care providers, and community leaders to advocate services that promote positive outcomes for our youngest and most vulnerable citizens. I joined the board at the Maryland Family Network because I believe it's the premier organization for early childhood. And I believe that means more than just the education and opportunity for our children, but also the engagement of families. And also setting public policy that's going to um, really transform the state in terms of what happens to young children. This year in the public schools of Maryland, we have a million students. And of those million students, about 300,000 of them are these children who represent early childhood. On behalf of the governor and the lieutenant governor, I want to thank you all for coming. You guys are going to win over a lot of legislators today by getting around and uh, showing your, your faces and making your arguments. The most prolific time of learning from a neuroscience perspective is prior to about six years of age. What I found was that we spent over 300, almost 400 million dollars a year on remediation of these children who entered kindergarten without the requisite developmental skills. What you're doing with these kids will be repaid a thousand times in your lives, and I just want to personally thank you on behalf of this great state of Maryland. Invest in your children. Invest in your children because, like you, I am committed to investing in their future too. Thank you very much. I think the state will serve as a national model in this country, and so I'm very excited to benefit from the outstanding work that's done by the Maryland Family Network. Engagement with families, engagement particularly with children who are economically disadvantaged, and preparing those children in a premier way to be competitive once they enter formal schooling. Through its strong public policy presence, MFN has helped to make Maryland one of the best states for early education and childcare.